extremists threw acid on him. On Christmas Eve 2011, Pastor Umar Melinde was attacked by two Muslims with buckets of acid. The acid ate away his skin, his eye, and his ear. He now wears a special pressure mask to aid the healing process. My conversion from Islam and my love and promotion of the love of Israel uh, uh, in my community uh, touched the, uh, the people on the other side to, to haunt me and to hunt me for a kill. Melinde was raised as a Muslim and hated Israel. He knew if he deserted Islam, he could be killed. But he had a dream that changed his life. It was a vision you had or a dream? It's a dream sleeping. I was in the midst of fire crying, but I saw that many of the people who were with me in this fire were the fellow Muslims we go with in the mosque. But as I was crying at, at, at the climax of, a, of the scene, somebody shining stood on the right side and told me that Islam is leading you to this torture. Repent, be born again, you shall survive. Instead of believing in Jesus, Melinde prayed Muslim prayers against bad dreams but it didn't work. And after that, I went back to my place and the dream came again. The following day, I took myself to the church and uh, I gave my life to Jesus. Melinde became a successful evangelist, winning other Muslims to the Lord. He later founded Gospel Life Church in Kampala, Uganda, where 30% of more than their 1,000 members are ex-Muslims. He also came to love Israel and brought others to visit the Holy Land. Your former friends and your brothers in Islam must have hated you. They hated me. That's the reason. So on the 24th uh, of December, 2011, as I was coming out of my church, somebody pretended as a believer. He said, Pastor, can you help me? He wanted my attention, my full face. Yet he had a bucket of acid in his right hand. As I was... Turning like this, the Spirit of God in me told me he's a wrong person. So I turned my face to enter my car quickly to drive away. As I was going, approaching my car, he poured a bucket of acid on my head. Oh. So I felt like I'm being thrown into hell. I felt fire from up to down to my toes. And uh, I was like, something is cooking me. And... Uh, they shouted, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Three times I realized that I, I have fallen into the ambush of, of Muslim terrorists. Melinde was rushed from one hospital to another, first in Uganda, then in India, and finally Israel. It was a deep, very deep and very severe burn to the face, ear and eye. I spoke with Dr. Joseph Hike, head of the burn center at Sheba Medical Center, Telecho Mare Hospital. Because it was two weeks old, we had uh, to wait and see that our cleansing was good enough or sufficient. And then in the second stage, uh, we ordered skin substitutes. We uh, reconstructed the face, uh, obviously in association with his own uh, skin grafts. This is a man from Uganda, mm -hmm. and here we are in Israel. Uh, so why would you take him in here? There is no difference, and we do not discriminate between age, race, origin, religion, or whatever. This hospital has a big tradition uh, for many years now to help around the world. What is the prognosis now from here on out? Most of the grafting uh, helped and succeeded in 100%, but unfortunately we'll need further surgeries. Melindy told me that people need to understand that it takes the power of God to spread the gospel and comes with persecution. So you're not angry with God? I'm not angry with God. It has encouraged me to serve the Lord more, to expose the lies. You see, people say Islam is a peaceful religion. But if you say that Islam is peaceful, look at me. Yes. I am the true picture of what Islam is all about. But they, they say there are radical elements and there are good elements, peaceful elements in, in Islam as well. But that's not practical because these radical people, they read what they read from the Quran. 
And whenever a Muslim does not like something, everywhere in the world people know, they will demonstrate on the street. If not killing ambassadors, they will burn the houses and everything. Melinda says Islam wants to rule the world, and terrorists take their inspiration from verses in the Quran. This verse says, which means kill, fight, and kill those non-Muslims until when there is no any other except the religion of Allah. How do we as Christians, in my case an American Christian from Scotland, um, how do we fight that? How do we defend ourselves against that? Islam is eating the waste because the Western world has compromised and sweet talking about uh, what is happening and thinking that keeping quiet will save the situation. But you have to remember, hiding your head in the sand cannot chase your enemy who is, who is chasing you to kill you. How do I, how do I love my enemy? If in, in this case you, you said you love your enemy, they did this to you. The best way to love your enemy, in this case, to love the Muslims, is to preach the gospel of Christ to them. Mm. If we take the gospel to them, at whatever cost, we are loving them. 